Not so Freudian here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus Dailies. We are Eve today. Uh, normal Eve start, as far as I can tell. Okay, I forgot that she takes three shots to kill the friggin' basic spider. with her normal damage. Four shots to kill a gaper. Uh, the problem is I don't really want to use Razor Blade yet. Uh, hopefully I can find a soul heart somewhere. I don't mind letting the green boil fire. Except when it makes, you know, more enemies. It's like, I can stay far enough away that hopefully it will only... What does it take? 20 shots to kill a friggin' fat spider? Okay. Okay, there's that. I can't believe it's only fired once this whole time. And it did get two of the pots, which is kind of what I was hoping for. I did hope that the pots would do, you know good stuff instead of just making a friggin' couple more spiders I needed to kill. Alright, that's helpful too. Even though the pots didn't contain anything I wanted. Alright, so item room's the other direction. Super secret room is probably below the room to the right. Batteries are iffy. Okay, use that. Because I can take all three of these. Amnesia's not terrible. This is probably the secret room. I can't get to that unless I learn to fly somehow. Oh, that is... That's just evil. Alright, so blow up all of these barrels. Hope one of them gives me a crawl space with a card or something. Dude Cricket said. Alright, yeah, so unless the boss is Headless Horseman or the Fallen. Although I guess I could get a Hanged Man card from the box or from a uh, like if I get uh, what's, what's that item called? The one that gives you the fortune teller hat. Alright, well this was certainly worth going to the curse room. It gained me a heart. Kind of annoying that the... I mean, the bombs were extremely helpful. Well, one of the bombs was. Alright. It's not crystal ball. It, like, gives you the fortune teller headdress. It's a boss item, and it's, like, shot speed up, plus it gives you a card. I gotta say, I'm super glad I went until somewhere. Eh. It's not flight. Basically maxes out my speed as long as I keep Horror Babylon going. No bombs, no keys. I feel way too fast. Alright, one bomb should get me another bomb and a key. Oh, a chest did spawn, okay. Explosive diarrhea? No curse of the maze. Quick, quick question mark. Alright, well, um... Nine lives would be absolutely amazing. 
If I get a hangman card from him, though, I'm going to be kind of pissed. Hierophant. Alright, that's super useful. Alright, lots of health. This should get me both things. Yes, it did. Let's take that. That's Curse of the Maze. There we go. Oh man, I can't believe on the second floor I'm already two-shotting those dudes. Alright, I have not been to the item room or the shop. I believe most of the flies from the left side of the screen died already. Justice, okay. Yeah, Troll Bomb's kind of annoying, but the fact that I got a soul heart instead of a regular heart made up for it. I'm one-shotting burning gapers. And then I just get caught on the edge of the rock there, which... That curse the maze to be straight into the same spot I was trying to go to anyway. Let's see. Okay. Well, four cents is better than none. Ooh, okay. Lost contacts, good. I lose Whore of Babylon for long enough to, uh, may as well check. Yeah, well, a half price item or a. Whatchamacallit? Uh. I'm going to be a little bit stupid. Go back and open that chest. And see if that's the secret room. It was not the secret room. Key and a penny ain't a great payout. So I basically traded a bomb for a penny. Okay, at least I didn't miss any. Watch my columns. So. I mean, I'm glad I picked up that half a heart so I could do this. You know, get the razor blade payout and trigger the uh, dead bird. Oh, dude. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't mean to grab that quite yet. <sighs> I would have had more, a lot more health, basically. Incubus as the first um, uh, familiar is great. That's a lot more shielded tears coverage. This is a really weird floor. Alright, no bombs. But one bomb gets me a card. And a key if I need a key. Razor isn't terrible. Yeah, like basically if I get a bomb, I don't even have to really spend it to get that card. Because I'll get a bomb back for using it. Okay. I meant to use that on a room with, with enemies, but just didn't remember in time. I was using it like it was uh, Book of Revelations or Satanic Bible rather than, you know, the item it actually is. Uh, I'm just going to go in. Totally not worth it. If I had gotten more money, well, a nickel could have led to getting more money, which would have been good for the, uh, whatchamacallit, hermit. Okay, save a key later. That's 
probably the secret room. But I have already blown up a keeper. There's not really a good place for the super secret room. Okay, take the high priestess and the nail charge into the boss. Good. Alright, did get that. This is... The speed's irrelevant. The shot speed's good. This isn't Krampus. We're going all the way down, so there's n absolutely no reason to take. We need to go deeper. Uh, I want this. Oh, yeah, it's that room. Never mind. And I definitely don't need the two of hearts. Next floor. Take the nightlight. So that looks like the secret room to the left. Or a super secret room looking at how the rest of the floor looks. Hangman could be super useful. Alright, I almost just walked straight into that, or let that spider walk straight into me. Sorry, I had to cough. Okay, so good thing I went this way. So that's the item room, obviously. Don't want continuum, no bombs. Don't really want teleport. So let's see what else I can. Okay, that luck up's great. Probably would have been smarter to go further, but I don't want to, you know, like this last penny probably wouldn't have done a reroll. Screw this. Is this room, ah, oh, dang it, I walked into him. Okay, good, I did not kill myself, but yeah. Being able to move through and get rid of the rocks was super good, and that dude basically telefragged me because I was moving too fast to get a decent dodge. Dang it. Alright, stop getting hit like an idiot. So there was a double bomb and two troll bombs. That is a weird chest. Grab that. Come in here. I'll open these. Uh, don't want blood bag. Lovers is useless. Should be Mega Ma next. I wish it had been Mega Ma first. Because then I would have had the not amazing damage up for Mega Fatty, but it would have helped a little bit. Speed. Wow, my speed's just high enough that didn't actually do anything. Bad gas is irrelevant, as usual. I have been to the item room. See what this last room is. Oh, there's an arcade. And an enemy that's gonna give me a soul heart. So that was worth it. I come in here. No beggar that gives me a better devil room chance. So close. There we go. Alright, 
I will take HP and luck, and I forgot that wasn't my fire. Alright, so there's a little horn boss and a little horn item. And there's a big horn boss, but no big horn item. Why not? I was about to say, but it's probably greed, so I may as well go in there. But then it wasn't, so it was probably just a waste of a key. Although if I get up to 15 cents, I would uh, take the blue map. Man, it's weird. haven't gotten a single damage up since the second floor, I think. So that's also when I got Incubus. Did I not? I did not take damage. I don't have anything that blocks damage as far as I know. curious how Ludovico would move or would work with Incubus but I'm totally not going to do it because with my tears and shot speed I believe it would just move so slowly it would be impossible to kill crap with it that's exactly why yeah I'm not going to make it to boss rush So I'm going to take this back to Parathrow it. I guess I'm an idiot, and that was the whole reason I took Parathrow that direction. So I could take Strength into the Devil Room and use that to get a second item for free. Alright, that's even worse. Alright, so that was unproductive. At least I'm fast. Okay, chariot, uh, strength. Although now with my luck, this is going to be Krampus, and I'll get his head, and it's like, dang it, why couldn't, didn't I just, you know, take Parathrow into the double room with me? Or 
I could just like knock it in and cover it all. At least the ball of bandages is nice. I got lots of keys, so let's check this out. Stuff. Kill the enemies. I guess there's technically a chance I can make it, but the um, boss would have to be like super close. I'm honestly just not killing things quickly enough. Like, I could probably kill mom the amount of time I have. Or what am I saying? I could definitely kill mom in the amount of time I have now. But like, ah, uh, dang it. Yeah, even if it were the next room up, I don't think I'd actually get there. Okay, the game froze for a second. Last couple times I've taken chaos, it's kind of sucked. Should I take blank card instead of the nail? I think I'm going to. Tech zero, okay, yeah. Nice. And because it... Um... Yeah, because my static links with the Incubus' static. Yeah, like, I was a couple of seconds too slow. You know, even though I found the boss there, I would not quite have killed Mom in time. Maybe I'm just saying that to make myself feel better, because I completely didn't even look at the time, but I really don't think I would have killed her quite in time. Alright, the game just stuttered again. Am I running out of hard drive space? OBS usually gives a warning about that. I walked right into that. Okay. I would like to find a card that's like better with blank card. Tractor beam is a tears up. And because of Incubus, it doesn't ruin the static tears the way it did last time I picked it up. Which is kind of cool, because I can just aim, and then wherever Incubus' shots go, kind of get, you know. You know, it just leaves cool trails. That looks like a super secret room. Yeah, I didn't think it was. But it looked like a normal, you know, secret or super secret room location. And I basically just need to make sure not to pick up any more hard containers. I already got Cricket's head right from like, something on the first floor. All right, so basically now I des I have to like just desperately hope that I do get a devil room and I am able to trade away a heart. But flight might be worth more than Whore of Babylon for the f you know a floor or two if it takes me that long to get to the. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to kill Mom in the amount of time I had when I found the room here. Okay, we are going to the chest. It is Krampus, dang nabbit. Okay, good, it's Lump of Coal, not... Um... Whatchamacallit, 
Well, then now I'm going to lose like half of my damage. Because I gained that second heart container. Diglets are taking way too long to kill. This should give me a shop on the next floor. But this floor is already spawned. Or like this floor is already like planned itself out. So there is not going to be a shop on this floor. Ah, jeez. Yeah. Well, if I'm super lucky, I might even manage to... Um... Make it to Hush. Okay, Tinted Rock, come on, Small Rock. I'm fast enough that especially if I get Horror Babylon... Okay, Luck Up's good. Back, it'll completely negate the speed down from the Small Rock. I do like the way the static works when, you know, Incubus... Is doing his thing separately from me. It seems like I'm getting more coverage of the uh, screen with it. Kind of hoping for another syringe, like preferably growth hormones, I think. Growth hormones is speed and range, right? Or not speed and range, uh, range and damage. Because I don't need damage and speed. I don't remember which syringe, what that syringe is called. Okay, the game just keeps stuttering on me. I mean, I don't know if you're noticing. Thankfully, it's only happened once where it actually caused damage. Alright, don't need a sacrifice room. I also don't want to, like, sacrifice long enough to guarantee an angel room, because I really need to get rid of this heart container. Unless there is a way I could guarantee that, you know, either Sacred Heart or Godhead was going to be in the angel room. Okay, I'm going to look, because there are several rooms in the womb that have beggars in them. So I'm going to keep exploring long enough to see if that happens. I, I should probably give the fortune teller some money to try and get a better card. Okay game froze again. And again. Like, yeah, it's it's not the video, it's the game itself. Okay. It's not the way back to the boss. I guess I should probably use blank card and strength to... And now we get this dude. Great. He's dying before he's really a problem. Terrible dodge. I don't want that basically at all. I basically have to take this just to get rid of the heart container. So I can have Horror Babylon do its thing. Okay. I don't hear for the points. Let's see if I can get a better card. With any luck, I'll find another one, copy of it and it'll actually be a health down. 
That was just a health up because I only had one heart container. Tinted rock. It's not the small rock, but there's you know two heart soul hearts there in case stuff goes wrong. Okay, this is here in case I pick up a heart and need to get rid of it, basically. Alright, I thought they fired on a slight delay. Oh, it means there's a... I thought they gave me a shop. I don't want data miner. Come on. Yeah, I thought it gave me a shop, not a... Or that. I think that's a silver dollar. Ace of hearts, no thank you. Er... Yeah, the silver dollar or pay to play? I don't remember. Either, like, the glowy, like, blue coin or the... Um... Yeah. Yeah, either the glowy blue coin or this gives shops in the womb. Ah, dagnabbit. the damage down from taking that. That bomb's gonna be irrelevant. Alright, let's see if I can kill. It lives in time. Alright. I don't have a high enough tier stat to past her, like, high volume shot attacks, or her high shot volume attacks. Okay. No devil room. I'll be stupid. Alright, that's great. Come in here in case mom's key is in here. It is not. Not a better card until I get down to the shop. King Baby's terrible, terrible. <sighs> I mean, okay, sacrificial? Dagger's definitely what to take. Halo isn't going to do enough of a damage up to make up for the heart container it gives me. And I come in here with Whore of Babylon. After I get hit once, I use strength. Like, this definitely isn't strong enough to go to Delirium. Like, this hush fight is going to be terrible. Well, thank God for Incubus, because otherwise I simply would not have the shot volume to deal with his, uh, you know, shot volume, basically. Those flies get scared, they don't change their behavior at all. It's kind of annoying. Did 
does he usually make an aura of flies for himself after he makes the, you know, annoying flies? range went up. Can hit him from further away. Well, if I get hit again, I'll just use the strength card. Because I want to take uh, Wheel of Fortune down to the chest, because like that's just every four rooms I get an item. Unless I find a better... this time. <sighs> Quit staying under the freaking ground. Holy crap. All he's doing is making boils.
Especially if this floor is just going to give me tons and tons of higher events. I have no idea why he decided to fire there. Because normally he's pretty good at, you know, like only firing once I get on the lateral line with him. Come on, small rock. Yeah, literally the only damage ups I've gotten were Abaddon, Cricket's Head, and the Lump of Coal. And then, you know, the plus point four or whatever the crap from uh, Halo. Okay, he's gonna give me a soul heart too. Okay, this is probably gonna be a library. It is Book of Revelations is irrelevant. How to Jumps irrelevant. Book of Secrets gives me Bookworm. I'll pick this up just so it doesn't show up next floor. Okay, good. It found me the secret rooms. Super secret rooms useless. Secret room. I don't think he can give me anything useful, really. Just a couple of points. Alright, so there's a chest here. Soul Heart isn't useful right this instant. Locust is better than something that literally does nothing right now because I am too far into the game. Sack gives me another higher fan. Just use it. Pick up Wheel of Fortune again. Okay. Kill that, get half a Soul Heart. I hate these rooms when you're slow. Like, there was that one where it was literally impossible to escape. Could, like, if you couldn't fly, you just got sucked into spikes no matter what you do. If you could fly, it was just impossible to escape once you got sucked into the middle. Because you simply couldn't have enough speed to make it out. I mean, I made it out once, but that was when I had the high enough speed. I got trapped at least one other time. Now let's try and send Bob's brain into him, because he's blocking too many of my shots. With his shots. I really hope I get uh, piercing tears next floor. Okay. Got any of that. Got the bomb. Oop. Okay, that doesn't really matter. Okay. Drop the... Holy crap, I'm an idiot. I used the card instead of using blank card. Whatever. I'll just take this until I find a card worth using blank card with. Cool. 
That was a completely coincidental Bob's brain shot, in case you're wondering. It is greed. It was greed. Lucky Penny's helpful. A couple of keys, kind of helpful. Okay. Pick up consumables. Thought I saw a tinted rock. Guess an eyeball hit me? Not entirely sure. High Priestess. Not worth taking the blank card. Four. That didn't kill a dingle? Weird. Alright, that's actually a damage up. That's not the super secret room. Hallelujah. No cards. Okay. One's dead. I have enough range to just... pile drive him from there. Alright, I thought he was afraid at first. Glad I moved. Alright. Yeah, I swear the static trails do significantly more damage than the, uh... Um... Actual tears. Maybe it's just because the tears hit once and then that's over, but the static trail... Like, hits them multiple times per second or something. High Priestess just does more damage. So there are four monsters in here. At least none of them are the monsters that are going to leap. Sun and Moon are both irrelevant, unfortunately. I can already see everything on the floor worth seeing. Okay, Spoonbender? Normal tears aren't gonna get pulled toward the enemies because of the tractor beam, but the incubus's tears are gonna hit more often. The funny thing is, this is actually a room that the death card would have been helpful in. Get a bunch of smaller bits and then death card them all. the super secret room. I believe this still does nothing. Yeah, gives me a penny. I'll bet it does nothing on the delirium floor too. It's 60... I'm not sure if that went up or down actually. I was only looking at the last two digits. 
Oh, yeah, and I took that just to see if fighting him and then using Dad's key would give me a portal to the void. I still don't think I'm strong enough to actually fight Delirium. I'm just curious if it works. so hard to get shots through. Okay. Guess not. Oh, well, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you would. I will see you guys tomorrow.